So we're going to move on soon to problems that involve projectiles that are not launched horizontally. And so here's an example of a problem we might encounter soon. Um, if we have a mortar, which is basically an artillery, artillery round, and it's fired at uh, 70 meters per second, that's how fast it's going, but it's fired at an angle of 42 degrees. What that means is the mortar is fired like this. It's going to go up, 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 and then it's going to go over, 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 and come back down. And so what we have to do is figure out how fast is this mortar moving in the x direction. So that's this component right here. How fast is it moving to the right? And how fast is it moving upwards when it is launched? Because if it's not horizontally launched, then its initial velocity upwards is not zero. It's definitely not zero. It's moving upwards with some velocity. So to find, we call these the components of the velocity, how fast it's moving to the right and how fast it's moving upwards, we have to use some trigonometry. Okay? So we are going to label this component here the velocity in the x direction initially. So this is how fast it's moving sideways, this component. And we're going to call this component here the initial velocity in the y direction. So it's the velocity in the y direction initially. And finding those two components are going to tell us how fast it's moving at the beginning of the problem in the x and the y direction. So here's what we're going to do. We know that if we want to find the velocity in the x direction initial, this is adjacent to the angle. So here's my angle that I know. 42 degrees. I know the hypotenuse of this right triangle, and if I want to find the adjacent side, I'm going to use cosine. So the cosine of the angle is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So the cosine is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, and we're trying to solve for the velocity in the x direction initial. So to get this by itself, we just multiply both sides by 70. So if we multiply both sides by 70, we get the velocity in the x direction initial. So put this in your calculator and work it out. It turns out to be about 52 meters per second. So that means that when this thing is fired, it's moving 52 meters per second to the right. But it's also moving up. And if we want to find how fast it's moving up, we have to find the side of the triangle that is opposite the angle. And to find the opposite side, we use sine. So the sine of 42 is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And we're trying to find this opposite side, the velocity in the y direction initial. So if I want to find this, I multiply both sides by 70. That gives me this equation. The velocity in the y direction initial will simply be 70 times the sine of the angle, 42. Plug that in your calculator, and you get 46.8 meters per second. So when we want to find the components of the velocity in the x and the y direction, and it's not horizontally launched, we have to use a little bit of trig. So let's just look at it, what it looks like generally. In general, if I have a launch velocity of v initial, and it's at an angle of theta with the horizon, so this line right here represents the horizontal, and so this is above the horizontal, that's the angle theta, then I want to find the horizontal component and the vertical component. The horizontal component we will call Vx initial, and the vertical component we will call Vy initial. So the cosine of the angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that looks like this. The cosine of the angle will be the adjacent side, the velocity in the x direction initial, divided by the hypotenuse, which is the initial velocity. Most, multiply both sides by the initial velocity, and you will get the the velocity in the x direction initial, the component of the velocity horizontally, will be at the velocity times the cosine of the angle. In the y direction, if we want to find this component, we use sine. So the sine of the angle is velocity in the y direction initial divided by the initial velocity. Multiply both sides by v naught, and we get that the initial velocity in the y direction, how fast it's going upwards, is just the initial velocity times the sine of the angle. So we're going to put those two in our toolbox so that when we find problems where we have to find the initial velocities in the x and the y directions because they're not horizontally launched, we'll be able to do it. So to find the initial velocity in the x direction, you simply take the initial velocity times the cosine of the angle. The velocity in the y direction is the initial velocity times the sine of the angle. 
and those should be in your toolbox. So you're going to practice some problems with those now.